When someone asks the question, what is most important about the original family unit, the answer is that God designed mankind to live that way for maximum joy, for reproduction, and this is really important, for passing on righteousness from one generation to the next. In the creative design of God, children need a mother and a father. That's why way back in Genesis, it says a man and a woman come together, create a union, unique in itself, produce children. The father has a role of leadership and headship and support and sustenance and protection. And the woman has the role of nurturing, caring, showing compassion. And together they give that child what that child needs. In addition to that, both mother and father, the father maybe as the teacher and the mother as the intimate discipler and mentor, pass divine truth to that next generation. As the family begins to fragment and that begins to break down the continuity of all that is best about society, all that is fulfilling in marriage, the grace of life, and all that is true fails to be disseminated systematically and regularly down through generations. And as a result, those generations decline in morality and in spirituality, and history is an evidence of that.